Peaches is coming to kick your ass for one hour here on Viva, right? So stick around. You can see a lot of shit happening. Because we got Cat Balloon, Paul PM, Mignon, Maki, and Chili Gonzo. Chili Gonzo. That's right. And I'm just getting ready for the show, so excuse me while I get ready. I don't know, you know. I got a lot of costume changes, a lot of shit to get going underway. So if you got any questions, you should just ask them. Go ahead. Let's go. of Peaches is that she took a shit and then she made a beat and then she smoked a joint and then she wrote a song and now she's a VMF. 
getting ready for the show. That's some of my big history. You know, a lot of my history is lost because of my uh, my memory is lost. So that helps me to be very spontaneous and just think of the moment. So that's about all. that I don't give a shit what I look like or how smelly I am. I mean, I just woke up before I got here, smoked a joint. I'm so hairy. Like, I didn't I didn't shave. I didn't shave. I'm wearing stupid jockey white underwear. My shirt's a little dirty. I stink. Totally. 
Yeah. I totally think I had enough time to watch his shirt. I just came back from some Paris shows. I became a lesbian icon there. It was really quite exciting. They wouldn't leave me alone, so I didn't have time to do laundry. Present. Idea as the way I make beats. Super 8 is very easy. You do a lot of in-camera editing and you just point, click, shoot, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's, so it's very uh, good for improvisation and uh, doing a movie in two hours, you know? Not like the, the stupid, huge film sets that come up and take over your city like Berlin or take over everything and they think they're so cool because they're like doing this or that or whatever you know just everybody can do it on their own just pick up a goddamn camera and point and shoot you know and i feel like the music is 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 like the dogma of mu you know of music in the way that you know dogma films you just you don't have a lot of uh lighting and and extra sound you just do it and you take the situation and make it happen
you want to eat with the hole in the middle. There's only one peach with the hole in the middle. You think I'm little, wanna play me like a fiddle. I'm not so brittle, too ditto, no skittle. Cause there's only one peach with the hole in the middle. There's only one peach with the hole in the middle. You know what a Skittle is? Skittle is a candy. I don't know. Do you have that candy here? Skittles? No. Skittles. They're little candies. They look like a clitoris. So it's a Skittle. And so I use that word in that. And diddle. Diddle means like play with. So diddle my Skittle. That's what that means. It's all candy and sugar related in that song. Because there's this other candy, Lifesaver. You know Lifesavers? No. Lifesavers is the candy with the hole in the middle. There's only one candy with the hole in the middle. So that's why I said there's only one peach with the hole in the middle. Diddle my skittle. It's all just a candy, sugar-coated song, you know? Sweet pop. Yeah, it's all, it's all about sweets, that song. Cause you wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna. 
Come get with me, lay with me, love with me. Uh, right. Come on, let's set it off. Come on, let's set it off. You got it, you want it, you know it, you love it, you got it. You know it, you love it, you want it, you got it, you know it, you love it, you got it. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, oh, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, oh, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Motherfuckers wanna get with me, lay with me, love with me, uh, right. Come on, let's set it off. 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 Yeah, I just heard you call it the MC5 because it's my rock and roll slave. You know, I don't call it the 505, I call it the MC5. Because it's quick and easy, you know. And uh, if I want to get laid or fucked after the show, all I have to do is just put that machine back in the bag and pack it up. I don't have a lot of equipment, you know. It's more about the party and, and getting people on stage and friends and personalities instead of boring electronic faceless music.
Love her tits. That was also, that was actually the first movie I made. And it was called Chromosome Triple X, you know, uh, like your chromosomes. Uh, the female is, what's, what's the chromosome of a female? XX or XY? XX. Ed, is that right? I'm forgetting anyway. And the male is XY, but the bikes are XXX, and it's made out of chrome, so it's called Chrome Zone Triple X. And we made this movie really in two hours, not much thought, but it, it, it's, it really was better that way. And it started showing all over North America and all these film festivals. And then I did another movie with Carol Blake about just me singing like a big loser in the mirror, and we put the two together to make the Lover Tits video.
is the worst thing to see. Who is the worst thing to see? Who is the worst thing to see? Who is the worst thing to see? MC? Margaret Thatcher. No, but repeat, who is the worst MC? The question. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> All right. No, but I want you to say, who is the worst MC? Who? I want you to ask me. Yeah. Who's the worst MP? MC. MP. <laughs> conference is just the beginning. You see, I believe there is one person who can really, perhaps, make a proper healthy competition about it. That man is Alec Empire. That man is Alec Empire because for the first two years when I came to Berlin, I heard his name spoken in such hallowed tones. And 
frankly, I developed quite a bit of respect for him. He is very media savvy. He has been profiled in many of the same magazines as Chili Gonzalez. So in fact, we have sometimes even been on the opposite page. You know, you have Alec Empire on one page and you turn it over and there would be Gonzo. And if you tried to cut out Gonzo's photo, you would miss some of Alec Empire's eye. And it was really weird. It was like, we're really there together, you know? And I started to think, maybe me and him, we're on the same path, you know? I respect him. He doesn't even know who I am, but I bet if he met me, he'd respect me. And you have to respect your opponent. You must only challenge those who you respect. Now, what I propose is a true election. A true election, perhaps in time for the new year. Me, anyone else who would like to challenge against me, hopefully Alec Empire. And I will send the message loud and clear. Yes, I have respect for my opponents. But if you were looking can fuck around with the Jewish prince that Chili Gonzalez, you get another day coming. And if you don't think he's like a solo, then you can leave him humming. And if you don't want to take advantage of the nuns in the wind, you can feel the food. Yes.
this our dynamite and this is our dynamite. Fünf Sterne hättest du gerne, doch für dich in weiter Ferne? Nein. Lieber zwei greift nach den Sternen. Eins, zwei, drei. Der Fünf Sterne Deluxe. Do you know Brassy? Have you ever heard of Brassy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to New York to uh, play. Gonzo and Peaches are going to New York and I'm going to go kick her ass there. I'm not sure if she's worth kicking her ass. I haven't figured that out yet. Sleet or Kinney, I don't even bother. It's not even worth kicking their ass. They're just, yeah. Well, look, Tigra, we're going to join forces and do a show together, so it's going to be cool. 